Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So in 2022 release wave two, there are actually some enhancements to the maker experience when it comes to the timeline on forms in Dynamics 365. So I figured it would be important not just to understand some of the new capabilities, but also on how you can actually do those changes and make those configurations. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I just navigated to make.powerapps.com and I'm going to expand Dataverse and then I'm going to navigate to Tables. So I'm going to demonstrate this on the account form of the account table. So I'm going to click on account and then you can see here below data experiences, you can access the forms. So I'm going to go here to forms and I'm going to open my main account form. So let me just give that a second here. Okay. So what we want to do in order to access those configuration options is we want to click inside of the timeline. And once you do that, you'll notice here on the side that your configuration options will then load. So there's a couple of things that are now new. So the first thing I wanted to show you is the ability to configure actions for each activity. So we're going to scroll down a little bit. Let's just take a look at the email activity. And if I click on that, you're going to see that the, this area right here, select and order commands, this has now been added. We did not have that before. So let me see if I can move that up a little bit. We only had the top section right up until configure form. So all of this is part of 2022 release wave two. So what you can do here is obviously you can kind of drag this up, right? To kind of select what order these commands should be in. And then if you check the box next to it, that just means that that command is going to be available from the timeline. Now, keep in mind that you can only enable five commands per activity type. So if you want more, then you're going to have a problem. You just have to select, right? The ones that you want to uh, enable on here. And then obviously you're just going to do done. You're going to save and you're going to publish that. Now, another thing that you can now configure is whether or not you want to show the regarding data from an activity record on that timeline. And you can do that again. We're going to scroll down here and you'll notice that you have a section here that says regarding record. So you'll notice also that there's only four here. So if you have an activity regarding something else, then these tables, obviously those are not going to be shown and they cannot be configured. So keep in mind though, that this is early access. So it might be possible that by the time that this goes GA, that we will have additional tables available here. So basically all you have to do here is just click on account. And by unchecking this, I'm going to disable it, right? And if I have it checked, obviously it is enabled. And you can kind of see also here by clicking on that little information button almost, I want to say, right? By enabling this regarding record, you can view this type of record in the timeline. Again, that's based on that activity then. Oh, so I'm just going to go ahead and discard that. And then uh, lastly, this is actually not part of the early access. Um, we're going to be able to, if I scroll down here a little bit, we're going to be able to do the same thing that we can do here with activities. And that is our roll up type for notes, right? So here you can see for activity, uh, roll up that only affects accounts and contacts. Now that's going to be, um, a little bit different, hopefully for the notes, cause I kind of wanted to show you here 
um, that you have these different types of roll-ups, which we're always also, sorry, going to have for notes, right? You have extended, related, and none. So I don't think none requires any explanation, but I did want to talk a little bit about some of the other options that you see here. So um, if we're talking about related, this setting really will show notes not only from the account record, but also activities from records who have a direct parent-child relationship with that account, right? And then you can see then we also have extended and that's the last option. So that means that notes from the accounts will be shown on the timeline, plus any activities related to direct child records but any other account related records as well. So this means not just notes on child records, but also grandchildren and great grandchildren as well. So hopefully you guys can see the value here, right? To be able to, uh, to show those notes from those relational uh, records directly here on that parent account. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching and until next time.